Let's say you're earning $60,000 a year, and while your budget is tight, you're managing just fine. But then you get a raise, and you're earning $80,000 a year. Now, here's the question. Do you save that extra $20,000 a year? You are living proof you can live off of the 60 just fine. No. Your expenses magically increase, and now you're managing to barely get by while earning $80,000. You've now fallen for the trap that is called lifestyle inflation. And you're not alone. Let's go. According to a recent survey, 70% of Americans live paycheck to paycheck. Now, these are Americans of all different walks of life earning all different types of salaries. Now, you may be asking yourself, how could someone earning $100,000, $150,000, $200,000 a year possibly just manage to barely scrape by and pay their expenses? Well, the answer is, is because they thought they could handle it. Lifestyle inflation refers to the tendency for individuals to spend more money once they earn more money. They feel compelled to upgrade their lives. So that car that they had when they were earning $60,000 a year, it's no good anymore. They need a Mercedes or a BMW. But a new car means a new home. New home means new clothing, means new restaurant spots to sit at, means new travel places to go to. And pretty soon they're spending more money that they actually bring in per year, causing a very unsustainable financial situation, right? They get addicted to spending money, and in most cases, they don't have that money. Now this is where the problems start to compound because now these individuals are used to a certain lifestyle and used to a certain public image. So they will do anything in their power to maintain the status quo. So if they haven't started to dip into their savings, they will. So any future savings or investing is now not a priority. With these individuals spending as much money as they earn, they are putting themselves in a very risky financial situation, right? Any large sudden change in their finances could spell doom for their situation. So losing their job or a large medical bill could cause it to explode. At this point, they might start taking out loans to pay for their lifestyle because selling their luxurious goods would mean admitting defeat and accepting that their situation is hopeless. It's a very unfortunate situation to be in and it can spiral out of control very fast. So what do you do to prevent this? Well, probably the biggest thing is making sure your financial situation is as clear as possible. What are your financial goals? What is your budget? What are your priorities? Answering these three questions can steer you in the right direction and keep you in line. Other things to consider is automatic investings and savings. So this is having money automatically transferred to your savings account or investment portfolio, ensuring that the money will be set aside consistently before you forget to transfer it or can spend it. Regularly reviewing your finances. This means checking to see if you're staying within budget and how your progress is going. Identifying where to cut back and celebrating your success along the way. Another thing to consider is avoiding comparing yourselves to others. Everyone's financial situation is different, and as this video shows, appearances can be deceiving. So focus on what's important to you and your family, so your values and what brings you genuine joy and fulfillment. And lastly, seeking help. Managing your finances can be tough. It is perfectly normal to not have all the answers, so reach out to a friend who's going through a similar situation or talk to a professional. If you can learn from their mistakes, it can save you a lot of time and money. Lifestyle inflation can derail all of your hard work and make your life very miserable. By being proactive, you can prevent this from happening in your life and the lives of the ones you care for. And with that, I'm Evan, and thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, then click on the video here. Also, if you haven't, like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos.